Hey everyone, it's me again, Suddenly Ninja. Welcome to the second part of my Scribble Knots playthrough. We have a lot of knots to scribble today, but I would like to start off this episode by giving huge thanks to Miss Ashley Davis, who is an, a, a very talented online artist, uh, who was kind enough to provide me with the art for Maxwell that you can see both in the thumbnail and the end slide of this series of videos. So you should check out both her websites. I've linked both her personal portfolio and her Tumblr webpage in the description below. Go check it out. She has lots and lots of, uh, of great game art there. Tell her I send you and tell her thank you for giving Sunny Ninja uh, the opportunity to use your art in your videos. He really appreciates that. All right, having done that, uh, I almost get crushed by a huge fan on my head. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, I like my fans, but not when they crush my head. Uh, this uh, this dutiful officer is now trying to push it away. That's okay, we're not going to stay here for long, because we're going to go to the map screen. Because uh, I was just in Capital City, and as you can see, last episode, we completely completed... Uh, completely completed? We completely completed uh, Capital City. We got eight shards and one complete star. We did that by, uh, by uh, oh, I don't know, helping a big ape, and I think we towed something there. We made a, we made a statue, fountain, I don't know. As you can see here, I already completed the uh, the Capital City runoff. There were only six shards there. It was not that great a level. And then when I was done recording, I found out that I stopped uh, the recording about 30 seconds in it. So I've lost all of that footage. I'll try and see if I can recover it for you guys. But it wasn't that great of a map anyway. It was really, really short. It was only like five minutes long, so I'm not sure it's going to be worth the effort. But for now, we're just going to go and continue. We're just going to go and pretend that I did all of this. And we're going to go ahead in... The Fargul, Fargul Gallery? The Fargul. The, the Farguli Gallery. Anyway, I don't know what it's called, but there's one star and eight shards that to get, so let's go over there. Beat me up, Scotty. And there we are. The Farguli, Farguli Gallery. Uh, there's a lot of paintings. There were a lot of statues there. There's uh, ooh, some stones over here. Let's turn on our star at vision and see who needs our help. The person right in front of us. We're just going to go with the start. Let's see what she wants. One of these artifacts is a fraud. Help me figure out which. Sure, yeah. Uh, one of these artifacts is a fraud. Help me figure out which. Okay, so what is this? This is a small petro petroglyph. I don't know these words. This game has too many words. This is a good sized, a good sized arrowhead, as opposed to a, a, a bad sized arrowhead. I can imagine if you're gonna take down a mammoth with a tiny, tiny, tiny arrowhead, that would be a bad sized arrowhead. This would be the size of arrowhead you'd want for taking down a prehistoric mammoth. This is definitely good sized. This cannot be the fraud. This is, this is good sized. And this is artifact. I guess they ran out of things to, uh, to, uh, to dig up. I don't know. Um, what would a curator need to determine what would be a real thing? Let's go and create her a microscope so she can better examine these things. I'll give it to her. Told you it was the artifact. It wasn't real. It couldn't have been real. Uh, but she also used the microscope to create it into some sort of statue. So the, the artifact was actually... Oh no, the artifact is over here. What? How did she do that? Did I miss something? I don't know if I missed something. We're just gonna go ahead and continue here. Uh, there's a lady here who needs her help. I need something to connect to connect those bones together. Yes, ma'am. Because you use gaffer tape. Oh, gaffer tape. Okay. N what? Who is this? It's a guy with a Nintendo pad on his shirt. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Gaffer tape. <laughs> He's actually called Gaffer. What? Okay, we'll just let him run around the uh, the museum. He just got free access to the museum. I called him into being. Is that? Uh, we're gonna get to that later. I don't know what to say about that. We're gonna get to that later. Uh, okay, we're just gonna go with duct tape. Let's make it two words. Yeah, that works. Give that to her. There we go, and she made a dinosaur with it. She made a dinosaur with bones and duct tape. She must be MacGyver, MacGulliver, what was his name? I can't remember, leave it in the comments. Uh, this, of course it needs help. The penguin with the red thing and the rocket and the purse needs help, because this is Scribblenauts. Help me get past the guard and the security camera so I can take back my diamond. 
Dude, it's your diamond over there? Why is that your diamond? Why does a penguin... Uh, okay, well, get him a disguise. There you go. Go! And he... Sure, yeah, because the disguise totally doesn't cover the fact that he's a penguin with a person rocking on his back. So, uh, you're a shit guard! Okay, having done that... Uh, let's see... Who else needs her help? There's two people needing her help here. Uh, painting, painter, painting, painter, painting, painter... Let's go with the painting first. The girl in this painting's... Painting looks lonely. Alright. Uh, let's see here. She's standing in some sort of meadow or, or hilly field, and she has a flower in her hair. She's all painty, and she's sad. Let's create her a painted companion. Yeah, and put that, give that to her. Hmm. There we go. Ah, oh, nice. It's, uh, it's just that it's looking the wrong. <laughs> I can now play as Maxwell's brother, Artie. Why would want that? I don't know. I'm doing fine as Maxwell. Um. Oh, this is this Artie. This is Artie. Oh, hey, Artie, brother. I didn't know you were a, you were an artist. Artie, artist. I get it. I'm sorry. My brain is slow today. Uh, it's such nice weather outside. There's blue skies and there's sun and everything. And I'm stuck in here making videos for random people on the internet. Uh, I don't care. I don't care. Let's go on it. Let's go up these stairs. There's a second level here. Yes, I knew it. Let's see. Finish my exhibit. <laughs> oh, it's a Wax Columbus. I thought his first name was Wax, but okay. Uh, finish my exhibit. Columbus. He was, of course, famous for... Uh, not discovering America, because there were Scandinavians that did that before him. Yes, certainly Ninja, for all your historical lessons. Uh, but let's create a Native American. A Native Americano? What? Isn't an Americano some sort of, I don't know, meatball? Oh, let's not do that. Um, Alright. Let's make him a sailing ship. Not a smiling ship. I need to... A sailboat. There we go. Ah! There. Yes, a brave new world. Our our dear friend Wax is, uh, is going to sail the seven seas of this ex exhibition in a fiberglass sailboat, because, yeah, we can do that. Of course you need help, love, of course. Let's see. Finish my exhibit. This one is also called Wax. Uh, Cleopatra, and uh, she was uh, from ancient Egypt, actually. So um, let's create her a sphinx. Uh, a creature, cat, structure, structure. There we go. Oh, it's huge. And poof. Oh, there we go. And she instantly got a pyramid and some of these glyphs and a uh, a, a person who got very badly hurt in a scooter slash bus accident. Because yes, that was ancient Egypt. And this, of course, of course you also need help. Benjamin Franklin, who is unfortunately also named Wax. Yeah, I didn't know that, right? Benjamin Franklin, uh, I believe he invented the mail. So let's give him a, a stamp. Uh, postage. There we go. And I give that to him. No, remove it. Okay. Oh, I almost caught it. I almost caught it. Come on. I'm pretty positive that he invented the uh, the mail system as we know it right now. Um, an envelope. Oh, sorry. Missed a letter there. An envelope. No, come on. Scribble knots, get your facts straight. Uh, all right, Benjamin Franklin. Uh, we'll come back to you later. This guy, then. George Washington, of course. Uh, let's see what we need to finish his exhibit. You know, we're just going to create an eagle. That is the uh, the standard sign for America. There we go. Never tell a lie. That was just, that was just a lucky guess, by the way. I was just I'm not American in any kind of sense or way, so I just randomly thought, "Hey, America, eagles. Yeah, let's do it." And it totally worked. But now Benjamin Franklin is still out there on his lonely exposition, uh, uh, exhibit. And I have no idea what to make for his exposition. Um, another thing that I can think of when thinking of America, because he was one of America's founding fathers, is the Statue of 
Liberty. Liberty. Yes, but I, I actually wanted to write the Statue of Liberty. So, uh, <laughs> yes, the Statue of Library. <laughs> oh, God, this game. <laughs> no, we can't do that. Um, let's just give him an American flag. Not an aerial flag. No. Can we just give him a flag then? Will he do anything with that? Well, he's holding it quite nicely, but I don't think that we can do anything with that. Uh, hmm, okay, I'm just gonna have a little think. Remove that. Yeah, just throw that over there. Um, uh, let's cheat and create another eagle. An eagle is always gonna... Oh, even the eagle doesn't do it. What? Hmm. Mm. I really want to help you, but I can't. I'm drawing all these things for you, and you just won't accept them, won't you? <sighs> oh, there we go! I did it! I created electricity. I forgot that Benjamin Franklin was all the guy with the with the with the kite and the key and the. Uh, what? Oh, I, I don't know. I, I'm going to be honest and tell you that I don't know what I did there. <sighs> but it worked. It worked. And we're out of here. Let's see. Uh, we're eight shards down and one complete star to go. And I believe that was down here. <clears throat> okay. That was right at the start somewhere. There we go. Uh, help Maxwell provide art that will be sure to please patrons of the museum. Start! Let's do it! Finicky patrons, start. We're gonna jump right into the subworld here. What the? What is... Oh, oh, is that a patron? It's opening day at the museum. Place something in the frames that will be sure to please the museum's patrons. We'll do that. We'll do that. Uh, okay, this patron. Place an item inside the frame that... I would find artistic. This is a Burning Man. Okay. Uh, all right. A, a Burning Man. Um, what would a Burning Man find interesting? Let's go with a fire extinguisher. Because a Burning Man would find that very interesting. Uh, well, okay. He doesn't, but he's currently on fire, so that doesn't count. Um, let's go for a torch. Yeah, oh, he likes that. Yeah, torch, the thing that is eventually going to set him on fire, he finds very interesting. Second one, here comes somebody else. What is something that this patron would like to see? Place it in the frame. Oh my god. Is it Medusa? Or is it Gorgon? Ooh. Alright, I don't know what that is. Anyway, it looks like a Medusa and has snakes uh, for a head. And I believe that you couldn't actually look at Medusa because she would turn to stone. But the guy that did the travels, whose name I've just forgotten, uh, fought her with a shield that was also used as a mirror. So let's put a mirror in there. And she likes it. There we go. It's gone all squiggly and colorful, uh, colorfully. Alright, the next patron is arriving. Place something in the frame that will be sure to please. Yes, yes, yes. It's a zombie. And what more do zombies like than brains? Does that work? No. No, it says balalaklakya. Balakalaya. Balalaka. I believe that's some sort of instrument. But the zombie wouldn't like that. Uh, let's go with uh, just normal brains. Or brain. Okay, alright. One singular. <laughs> there we go. I, c I call it this piece brains in the sky and the green hills below. The last patron is here. Place something inside the final frame to complete opening day as a success. It's a gnome. Uh, all right. Uh, this last one is actually a bit trippy. There's purple hills and purple sky and purple haze, if you know what I mean. Uh, what does a gnome like? A gnome, of course, everywhere all around the world. Gnomes are known for this, for walking with wheelbarrows. And go in the frame. Nope. 
No, I didn't mean to click you. And go in the frame. No. All right. Well, I can. <laughs> That's much better. Yeah, that is definitely better. What what does a gnome like? Uh, what does a gnome like? What does a gnome like? I know. Uh, these guys are called garden gnomes. Let's just simply make them a garden so you can tend. There you go. There's a garden for you in there. And he's happy as can be. And the piggy bank is absolutely exploding. And he's gonna go uh, bring all of his money. As you can see, this piece is also a little bit of uh, a little bit of creativity in there. Uh, it's all colorful and, uh, and weekly on a uh, on a backdrop of uh, the purple. Uh, I don't know what accent this is. Uh, don't judge me. So I, I like this one the best. It's just a floating brain with uh, with with green hills and blue sky and everything is peaceful. And then oh my god, colorful brain. Okay, and uh, the magic mirror and of course the burning torch uh, next to the green tree. I am a great artist, even though my clothes say, uh, "Hi, I'm still monochrome." Anyway, we got our uh, we got our complete star right here. F oh, I saw uh, I thought it said something else, but it said finicky patrons. I won't repeat what I thought that it said. Level completed. Continue. And there we go, back in the outside world. And now, if we go into Starlight Vision, we have completed this whole level. So let's get back to the map view. Uh, and the next thing on our list is the Capital City Firehouse, but that will be for another episode. Again, I would like to thank you for watching this episode. Keep a lookout uh, for my sub box. If you want, you can subscribe to me, but don't rely on YouTube to put my videos in your subscription box, uh, because I've heard rumors that they aren't working very well right now. I've experienced this myself as well. Uh, so there's some advice for you if you really want to stay up to date on my videos. Uh, I think you're best off just checking out my channel. Um, don't forget to like or favorite this video. It help, really helps my videos get out there, so I'd like to thank you guys for that beforehand, and I'll be seeing you the next time in Scribblenauts!